In this video, we're going to go over allocation strategy. Simply go to account settings at the top. Then click on allocation strategy. So the system is defaulted to automatically allocate the rents received to the earliest amounts owed for you, which is the first option. If you want to manually allocate the items yourself, simply select the second option. I'll go over both options. So we'll start with the first option where the system will automatically allocate rents received to the earliest amounts owed. So we'll go to the worksheet tab, property worksheet. So we have property 987 Colby Street, tenant Sam Jones. If we hover our mouse on the overdue, we can see that there's a total overdue of 1970 and we can see that the tenant still owes for both April and May's rent, water bill, and late fee. So let's say that the tenant paid one check of 1970. I'll simply enter in the amount here and click enter on my keyboard and now it gets changed to paid. To see how the system automatically allocated, simply click on the green white arrow button next to the tenant's name. And on the right hand side, click on the blue arrow button next to the transaction. $35 was allocated to water due on April 1st. $50 allocated to the late fee due on April 1st. $900 allocated to rent on April 1st. $35 allocated to water in May, $50 for late fee in May, and then $900 allocated to rent due in May. So the system did all of the allocations for me. Let's say that the tenant made multiple payments. I'll go ahead and zero this out and show you how that would work. Okay, so I'll go ahead and record multiple transactions. So let's say on the first, I received $985. And then I'll click on add income transaction to add another income. I'll say that on May 7th, the tenant paid $85. And then on May 14th, the tenant made another payment of $900. Okay, so now we can see that the tenant has been paid up. And again, you want to click on the blue arrows to see how the system automatically allocated it. So for 985, we can see that this payment went to April's water, April's late fee, and April's rent. Next is this $85 payment. We can see that it went to May's water, May's late fee, and last this $900 payment went to May's rent. Okay, so we can see that the system is allocating to the earliest amount owed. Let's say the tenant paid again for May, but for next month in June. So I'll record another payment and I'll say that on May 21st, the tenant made a payment of $900. Okay, so let's see where this was allocated by clicking on the blue arrow. Okay, so we can see that this was allocated to June's rent for next month. Okay, so now let's try manual allocation. I'll click on account settings at the top. Allocation strategy, and I'll select the second option to manually allocate everything myself and save. Okay, and we'll go back to the worksheet. Okay, so let me go ahead and delete these transactions first. And we can start from scratch. Okay. So now we can see the tenant is again overdue for both 
April and May for rent, water, and light fee. Okay, so let's say the tenant made one big payment of 1970. Now remember, um, this is the manual allocation strategy. So if I hover my mouse on the overdue, we can see that only May's rent was paid this month. Everything else is still due. So I will have to manually allocate everything else myself. So I'll click on this green white arrow button next to the tenant's name. On the transaction row, click on allocate. And at the top right corner, we can see $900 towards May's rent. Um, so I recommend starting from zero. So I'll put in zero on that row. And so now we can start with zero allocated and we still have the full amount um, that needs to be allocated. And what you wanna do if you want to allocate to the earliest amounts owed is you wanna scroll up to the top and basically see what still is due. So we'll start with April's water. So I'll type in 35 there and then $50 for April's late fee. Next, $900 for April's rent. And as I continue to enter in the amounts, this top right corner box gets updated so I can see where the payments are going towards. And the system tells us how much still needs to be allocated. So I'll keep going. I'll put in $35 for May's water, $50 for May's late fee, and then $900 for May's rent. Okay, perfect. So now it's saying the payment is fully allocated. And in this top right box, we can see where the payment is going towards. So I'll click save. And you'll have to do this, this manual allocation, whether it's one big payment or multiple payments. Okay, so as we can see, the auto allocation is a lot faster. Let's say that the tenant paid again for May, but for June's rent. So I'll record another transaction. I'll say that on May 21st, the tenant paid $900. And let's see where this is allocated towards. So if I click on this blue arrow button next to the transaction, it's telling me it's not allocated because I'm still on the manual allocation option. So I have to click on this allocate button to tell the software where I want this payment to go towards. Okay, so here we see June's rent. I'll go ahead and type in 900 on the row. And now it's saying the payment is fully allocated. So I'll click save. And to double check, we can now see that 900 is allocated to June's rent.